Avast there! First mate, Goo, take the wheel! All hands on deck! Belay the topsail! Man the bulwarks! We shall fight to the last man! And the last bear! First mate, Pooh, we must protect the treasure. We have to keep it safe at all costs. Then perhaps we should get some help? By using very small bait... <laughs> Such a very small bottle, you put up a very large struggle. Oh, da 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 dear. In here. I wonder where that is. Hey, a note in a bottle. And I didn't even know I was missing. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna find me? Water! Water! Christopher Robin was just speaking of bottles and messages and such. But, Pooh, I don't have it anymore. Then we'd better hurry. Well, so I am. <laughs> Guess I won't be needing this. Why, this is so simple, even Owl could read it. Then let's go get Owl. But first, I'd have to see it. But it's gone. Good I'll... thing we got another one. Hey, this reminds me of something. It's written in a forgotten language of the ancients, likely thousands of years old. In that case, this is most definitely our recipe for coconut cream pie. Kid eating cannabibbles. There are no cannabibbles in the Hundred Acre Wood. Wait a second. There are no sharks in the Hundred Acre Wood. Wrong time of year. <laughs> we'll send him a message in a bottle. What good is that going to do, Pooh? It's what Tiggers do best. We gotta get that bottle back! Christopher Robin's depending on us! There's no escaping now. You might as well hand over that bottle. I got it. Oh, my! It's Buster Fry. Oh, thank you. But. Thank you, pack rats. Hey, bathtubs are great. As long as the water stays on the outside. You're right, Rabbit. It's right up there ahead of us. Now that the bottle has lost us, we'll never save Christopher. There you are, Christopher Robin. We found you. We did it. Christopher Robin. Sounds pretty exciting. Sorry I missed it. You mean you weren't in any trouble? Oh, yes. You came just in time. We did? You see? It does look very nice. A Robin's is what we do best, you know. <laughs> sure. If it hadn't been for you... Hmm. Those walnuts remind me of something. Thirty-two? I had thirty-three tomatoes yesterday. <laughs> Take that, you vegetable knappers, and that, you feather brains. <gasps> around here with a very loud voice. It's me, Pooh. May of the occasion when my Uncle Aloysius had his tail feathers stolen and could... Round. Hot. Two, three, four. Hot. My... Hmm, my relatives are as real as anyone. Stations now. Why, hello, Pooh, Piglet. Why, no, Owl, we haven't. <laughs> That's right. You're the only owl around. He wants to see his family. 
Perhaps his family wants to see him too. And to think you knew where to find my relatives all along. I did. Pooh, do you really know where Owl's relations are? Well, sending invitations to the reunion, of course. The balloon will carry the invit. I shall wait here for the guests to arrive. Perhaps I didn't use enough postage. I suppose I'll just have to invite them in. I'll be ready for those feather dusters next time. Hot two, three. It pays to have plenty of the proper cuisine on hand. Yes, yes, yes. Aren't you? <laughs> Howell will be so pleased. Nonsense, Piglet. Why would Pooh invite crows to my family reunion? <laughs> of course, I I'm sure a refresher course in table manners might not be amiss. Yes, Owl. We hope you'll all be very happy together. Yes, I hope so, too. <laughs> but then, the guest is always right. Well, uh, perhaps a bedtime story? <laughs> well, then, what is it you want? From Rabbit when I introduce you to him in the morning. <laughs> I can't wait for him. <laughs> I've heard of presenting flowers. Aha! I'm going by to introduce my relatives. Lucy, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my guests. Relations? The crows! Oh, Pooh, I knew it all along. Oh, my. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this. What do you suppose that one thing is, Pooh? We'll solve it. Oh, Pooh, that's a very good idea. I think. And your <clears throat> hoot, hoot, <laughs> do come in. <laughs> oh, I say, that's splendid, a delightful prank, quite the proper... I say, who have we here? Surely you haven't forgotten your own Uncle Torbett. <laughs> Off to some other party, no doubt. There's no escape now, you imposter. Abbott's birthday. Uh, Uncle Tucker, a corn crib. I'm very glad you arrived in time. Four times as many stories to listen to. Yes, uh, wonderful. It's wonderful clocks now. Such a pity none of us can tell time. That reminds me of the time. Don't let her get away! Oh, dear! Hmm. A sneaky little guy, isn't he? Are we having a time out? I can't wait around all day. I got things to thingy. Place is to replace. Catch it! Uh, pass it. Oh, dear. Feet together, left arm straight, head down. You decide all the important stuff. Oh, well, I think it was as close to... Now I gotcha, your ornery little orb. Why, hello, ball. We've got it cornered. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But then again, it never hurts to keep looking. Why did you do that, Pooh Bear? <laughs> I'm glad you're on its side, Pooh. No, 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 no. The ball doesn't have... Oh, yeah? So what did the rules say, Long Ears? Uh, oh, yes, the, the rules. Fun and game stuff is that it takes too long. I got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> One little swipe and the game's over. What do we do now, Pooh? Perhaps a time out for a small meeting. But haven't we met each other already? Oh, my. Uh, where's Gopher? We can't start the meeting without him. Playing going on. But, Gopher, we can't play without you. I had enough fun and relax. I have to work. Play. Work. Play. Work. Or...